to breastfeed her, I really should be using my nursing chair, but it's just much cozier on this couch, so we're gonna breastfeed. On this couch, huh, mama? Just come on. You got the hiccups? You got the little hiccups? And currently, because we're still struggling with the latch, I am going to use a nipple shield. Let's feed the baby. So I just fed her with my left breast. Typically, what, hi. <laughs> Typically what I like to do is to feed her one breast and then give her a diaper change and then finish off with the other breast just so she's more tired out and sleepy so I can burp her and then I can swaddle her. So she's just less alert than if I were to put her down to sleep after a diaper change. But today I actually changed her diaper first just because she was asleep for quite some time, so I just wanted to make sure that she wasn't sitting with any urine or any poo-poos while I breastfed her. Um, after I burp her, which she already burped actually once I hit record, it was a big loud burp, huh, mama? <laughs> I will go ahead and I will give her some vitamin D. So our doctor recommended that we give her some vitamin D drops, so Let's go ahead and do that, Mama. So I just put a drop on my finger. Here you go. And then have her suck on my finger. Here you go. She doesn't like it. Okay, okay, it's done, it's done. During this time too, because she's fussy, but she's less fussy than if I haven't fed her, I will go ahead and clear out her little nosy. Come on. She does not like this either, but it has to be done, mamas. I do have an electric nose aspirator, but I have to clean that, so I'm just gonna use the good old fashioned one. This one's been clean and sterilized. Oh, I know you don't like it. That's okay, mama. Okay, there, 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 there. there. I really hate doing that because she hates it. So I try to do it when she's the calmest, but pretty much once I start, she's gonna get fussy. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Time for something else she hates, which is tummy time. Lately, I've just been doing it on my chest. I just lay her down on me and have her do tummy time for a little bit. Come on. Tummy time. Tummy time. I know you don't like it, but you gotta get strong muscles. Come on, just for a little bit. I know you don't like it, mommy. You have to do it. Just for a little bit. Oh, I'm sorry. Good job. I know you're still hungry. Good job, mama. Okay, she really does not like tummy time, but it's time for the next breast. And you like that, don't you? Boop. Boop. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, mommy. Come on, let's eat. So after breastfeeding her, she was just not falling asleep. And it turns out, little girl had to poop. And she had a little blowout situation, so I had to change her outfit completely. Hi, mamas. Oh, look at you being so active, mamas. Oh, my little baby has the hiccups. So it's actually been pretty interesting because as she gets older, she's more comfortable being on her own. Like, her environment no longer stresses her out. So after I change her diaper, I will usually set her down on her crib to go and wash my hands and stuff and I noticed that she would just be interacting with her environment she just wasn't crying or usually it takes her like a longer time before she starts crying and before she wants me to hold her so I'm gonna take advantage of her just being super calm and I'm going to make my coffee Sleep now. 
she hates when I put her in this carrier, but once she's in there and I kind of walk around with her a little bit, she falls asleep. And this is also just like the best way to get things done with the newborn because at least my experience has been that like she'll sleep in her crib and bassinet for like half an hour to an hour, but it's interrupted. Whereas in this carrier, if she is sort of startled, I can just hold her and she'll go back to sleep so fast. And it's just like the best thing to have her here on my chest and be able to hold her. Also, that pile of laundry, it's clean, but I've been ignoring it for the last couple of days. Okay, now let's make my coffee. It's time for my vitamins that I take daily and to hydrate. I've been loving coconut water. I used to drink coconut water throughout my entire pregnancy just because of the electrolytes and I just felt more hydrated after coconut water rather than regular water because purified water is actually supposed to be very bad for you and for your hydration. The vitamins that I take are these thorn basic prenatal so after giving birth my ob prescribed me some vitamins and told me to keep taking my prenatal vitamins and aside from this she prescribed me vitamin c and an iron supplement but i already finished those other vitamins essentially this here has what she prescribed me anyway so this has vitamin c and it also has an iron supplement so i'm gonna go ahead and just take these now since i finished the ones that i was prescribed i do have my six week check-in appointment tomorrow that's so crazy it's already six weeks postpartum and six weeks with my little angel but anyway tomorrow i will ask her if i should just keep taking these or if i should also take the ones that she had prescribed and if i need to refill that prescription or what the next steps are for now i'm just gonna go ahead and take my prenatal and i ordered these off of amazon Typically when I have her in a carrier and I'm going to be drinking a beverage, I make sure that it is not hot. So at this point, my coffee has had plenty of time to cool down. Plus with the cold oat milk, it's 100% like lukewarm now. Just because it is a safety hazard, like if you spill on them, you don't want to burn them. So I make sure to never have hot tea or hot coffee or anything that is hot when I am around her, like whether carrying her or breastfeeding. <laughs> some baby dishes but to be honest i think i'm just gonna wait until later in the afternoon i really try to take it easy with my mornings and it all just depends on how well she sleeps right now with how inconsistent her sleep can be i really only set a few goals for my morning i don't try to do too much because i don't want to set myself up for failure I don't want to set unrealistic expectations for my mornings because a lot of times I'm just super sleep deprived. Anyway, she has like about one more hour or less of her nap before she wakes up hungry. So I'm just going to relax a little bit. It's raining today and it's super gloomy. So it just added on to the coziness. I am honestly so grateful for mornings like these. <laughs> I really want to share some baby must-haves. Our baby is currently over a month, so these items are gonna be things that we've used for sure within this one month to two month time frame. And I'm only going to be sharing a couple. I have a very long list of things that I would recommend, but I was thinking that I can just make a separate video. If that is something that you are interested in, please let me know in the comments. For now, I will only share a handful of things. The first thing that we absolutely Absolutely love is this humidifier here so we actually purchased this when she was a couple of weeks of age because we noticed that she was just getting really congested at night 
and she was having a bit of trouble breathing and it would freak me out to be honest. I spoke to her pediatrician and she said that's normal for newborns. I did a little bit more research online and other mothers that have experienced this with their newborn and a lot of them recommended buying a humidifier. So I will link this one down below, but this one is the Frida brand and I believe you can also add essential oils and it will diffuse the essential oils in your environment. I will say that we have noticed a difference. Her congestion is still there sometimes, but it's not as bad as it used to be. The next thing that I would 100% recommend is to have a sound machine. So we have this mom cozy white noise sound machine and we love it so far i would highly recommend having something portable because we move this from her nursery to the living room to our bedroom which is where she sleeps at night in our bedroom so it's dead right now because of how much we use it and i haven't charged it it has different colors of light so this whole top portion will turn color and it also has different noises you can download an app on your phone and from there you can control what color what noises as well as other features that you can tap into but this is just the one that we have we received it for our baby shower but as long as you have a portable sound machine or white noise making machine I would highly highly recommend that a lot of times babies can't really sleep when it's super quiet or if it is super quiet and there's like a noise that is made in your environment they will get more startled so just having that white noise which I believe is supposed to resemble what they would hear in the womb then it's just a little bit better for their sleep because they will be startled less and have more of uninterrupted sleep what i like about this one is that it also has lullabies that it plays or like chirping birds or waterfall noises so it's not just white noise that it makes it's also other noises that are supposed to aid in her sleep okay moving on to the kitchen these are the two things that i would absolutely recommend so we have this baby brezza the sterilizer and dryer these are all clean but it has that section down there for the bottles this section for accessories and it even has another tier and you can add more things on there but basically you add water and it will go ahead and use that steam to sterilize at high temperature and then it will go ahead and dry your baby dishes the next item that we use religiously is this other baby brezza item it is this bottle warmer so you add water in there you put your bottle and then there are these functions so if your bottle's already at room temperature but you want to heat it up a little bit more you press that button if you just bought it out of the fridge there is an option for that cold milk and then you can do a quick warm or a steady warm so i do breastfeed for a majority of the times but whenever i need a break and my husband's going to feed her then this is just a really neat contraption because it will heat up the bottle within like minutes we honestly use this so many times every single day this was a gift from a family member but i think that if someone hadn't given us these two items we would absolutely buy them now i'm moving on to the office where we have the next item the lighting is super trash in here the next item that i want to share is our stroller slash car seat so our office is a mess so please excuse all of this for now this is where we're storing all of the pregnancy stuff and baby stuff until i can organize it we got the even flow brand stroller just because it was more affordable and it seemed to have the features that the more expensive ones had it comes with a car seat and it comes with this other little basket it looks like a little moses basket but essentially they both clip on to the stroller part the stroller part of it is in my trunk so i will just include pictures here the reason i recommend it is because of the clip on feature so it can be this brand or any other brand but it has just been so nice to be able to take her out of her car seat and clip her onto the stroller instead of taking her out of her car seat and then putting her in a separate stroller. So moving on to the nursery, another thing that I would recommend is a changing table. And on that changing table, we also have a changing pad that is super easy to clean. You just wipe it down. Initially, we have the changing pad on this furniture piece here, but honestly, it was a little bit lower than we would have liked. So I did a little bit of research and on Amazon, 
I found this changing table. So it has that bottom part where you can store some items. It has these pockets here that you can put like diapers, baby wipes, any lotions or diaper rash creams. And then we added our changing pad here. And what we really like as well is that it has wheels so you can move it around the house. And it also folds in half so you can store it without it taking much space. That changing table is much higher. It's really easy for me to change her without straining my back or anything. I've seen a lot of people on Instagram that have their changing pad on a dresser. And if your dresser is a little bit higher, maybe it works. But for me personally, I just needed something a little bit higher. It's not only good for me, but for my husband since he is taller than me. The next thing that I would highly recommend is a bin for the diapers. This one specifically is called the Diaper Genie. And as you can see, it is full now. I have to take it out. But this is really neat because once you close the lid, it's supposed to trap all smells in there and so you won't be smelling the baby poop. So right now, that is not the case for us, but this is just a reality. Some of these are so hectic that you cannot even take out the trash. This diaper genie was highly recommended, so I put it on my baby registry and a friend bought it for us and we are in love with it. So yes, that's another item that I would recommend. I turned on the light to see if it would be better, but I don't think it is. Anyway, the final item that I want to share in this video is to purchase or add onto your registry a baby monitor. We have a baby sense model. I am not 100% sure which model it is. I will go ahead and link it down below. Definitely having a baby monitor is is essential it is so bright i apologize but we have her baby monitor up there which is pointing into her crib and once we put it down we will go ahead and walk around with this or set it down on the coffee table or in the kitchen or anywhere that we can watch her so any baby monitor that you do research on and that you end up liking definitely add it to your registry or purchase it yourself it is something that is crucial and that will give you so much peace of mind that was going to be all of the items that i shared but then i realized i was missing something that's right in front of our face so the final thing i would recommend is a baby carrier honestly there are so many baby carriers out there that it it's honestly really hard to choose so just pick one that you like or, or that has good reviews but as you can see baby carriers are just essential if you want to get things done around the house while the baby is sleeping or even if you want to go out like for example sometimes we go out for coffee dates and i notice when we use a stroller if the baby wakes up she's going to be fussy at one point whereas a baby carrier they just tend to be a little bit more calm in here they're close to you they can hear your heartbeat they feel safe they can sleep go ahead and find your favorite baby carrier and definitely pull the trigger or add it to your baby registry there you have it those are some items that i would 100 recommend like i said i do have a longer list i made a list in my planner of all of the things that i recommend from things in the nursery to things in the kitchen to things for nursing and postpartum etc so if that's something that you're interested in maybe i can just create a video solely on that topic let's talk about personal goals so as i mentioned earlier i am at about the five week postpartum mark i am almost at six weeks and so at this point of my postpartum journey i really want to start thinking about personal goals so for goals where i really wanted to start was with setting a hobby the reason that i really want to start with setting a goal that involves a hobby is because i really want my daughter to grow up with that influence with this idea that both mom and dad do things for fun, do things out of enjoyment. And what I decided on was that I really want to start scrapbooking. I want to start a little scrapbooking project and I've been wanting to do this for so long. I wanted to start this when I was pregnant, but when you're pregnant, you also don't really have energy for a lot of things, <laughs> to be honest, at least I didn't. And actually for my birthday, a family member gave me a scrapbook and some scrapbook items, some film for my camera, some pens. It was just sort of like the little push that I needed to really revisit this goal of wanting to start scrapbooking. Hold on, the baby's crying. Hi, mom. 
mummies. Guess who just woke up from her little nap? But anyway, as I was saying, I really thought it would be just a good idea to start this right now because I have so many pictures from my pregnancy. I already have so many pictures of her, obviously, as a newborn. And I really want to make sure that I am just gathering these memories because I feel like with our phones and cameras these days, everything just sort of stays digital. Like... It's never printed, at least I'm so bad at printing pictures. To be honest, I feel like because I have always loved scrapbooking since I was a little girl, that's really why I enjoy YouTube because it's my form of like a digital scrapbooking activity. I really enjoy compiling videos, compiling moments into like a little story or just like put it all into one video. And I really wanna take that concept into just a physical medium, right? So rather than just like on video, I want to go ahead and do the whole printing out pictures and being all cute with how I decorate my scrapbook and things like that. I do have some fitness goals, but those are very, like they're not crazy or anything. It's all dependent on how my six week appointment goes with my doctor and if I'm cleared for physical exercise. And my only fitness goal would be to just start walking. My husband purchased a treadmill. That's just gonna be my only fitness goal is once I'm cleared by my doctor, to just walk at an incline, just walk and slowly ease my way back into the fitness world. There you have it. I really just wanted to talk a little bit about my personal goals, mainly to hold myself accountable and to start thinking about little goals that I can set for myself. But also as a reminder that yeah, I'm a mom now, but I'm also still myself and I should continue to engage in things that bring me joy. On a side note, I also joined a book club, so I will be starting that up in January. So I'm excited for that. I'm slowly starting to set these little goals and they all have to do with like leisure activities because that's where we're gonna start. So we're gonna go feed this little angel. Oh, mommy, daddy.